and welcome to Cape Town Homemakers and the first virtual homemakers event ever. I am Nadine Fosler from Choco Paint and we have partnered with Homemakers to make sure that you are inspired and motivated to revamp and recreate something in your own space using Choco Paint. So sit back, relax and enjoy and just see what we have in store for you. Liz, during the lockdown period, I saw a post that you placed on your Facebook page asking for someone if they can't just paint your kitchen in a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse theme. And I just saw opportunity to walk into your kitchen, beautify and upcycle and recycle and paint what I see here and make it into something beautiful and authentic Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse theme. And that's why I'm sitting here today and I feel so privileged being here with you in your kitchen. Nadine and Choco Paint, I cannot believe that this is truly happening. It feels like a miracle. I didn't in a million years think when I posted that, that it would, it would ever be, be true that it would come true because, you know, I just wanted to post something happy and, and, and cheery and make people feel that they should not stop dreaming. So, this is like every Christmas and every birthday, all in one. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> this, to me, would be the ultimate kitchen. And I know of the Choco Paint brand, and I know how amazing it is. But now I need to ask you, can Choco Paint paint walls, cupboards, tiles, wicker, all of that? And your fridge. And my fridges! <laughs> yes, so Choco that Paint can grip onto your melamine cupboards and we can paint the wall tiles with it, your wicker, um, even the glass, light fittings, definitely your fridges will, will give a lick of paint in, and make it into something beautiful. Earlier today you, you talk, we talked about colours. Yes. And I have some suggestions. The pictures that you posted were beautiful, um, but we're going to use that as a foundation for everything else I, that's going I to happen. I looked at your website last night and I saw, apart from the amazing colours, I saw that there was a name, like a real person's name, attached to each colour. Where does that come from? Choco is focused on job creation and empowerment. Oh, wonderful! So the names of the paint colours are named after people working in the factory, working on the painting sites. Proudly South African brand. Proudly South African. And the name Choco? It's the Sutu for Chalk. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's beautiful. So, Jane's Jade yes, is a very a vibrant and lovely happy, jade colour. Then there's something like Nao's new. See, even my dogs are excited. I can hear they are so <laughs> excited. They are also just wanting to grab the paint brushes and start Absolutely. working. Absolutely, we'll tie it to their tails. <laughs> <laughs> these um, are lovely. So those are the teal, jady colours, yeah. and then there are the authentic Mickey Mouse colours. But we can any use... of this works. I just thought because my my lounge has a blue tone and it has to flow, maybe this would be, uh, you know, w w especially the Jane's Jane, I love mm. that colour. It's a lovely, uh, it, vibrant colour. But all of this, Nadine, you're the artist, you're the designer. I'm going to leave it up to you and Choco Paint. Yes. Liz, tell me, where does your love for Mickey and Minnie Mouse come from? I suppose it's always been there, but to me, well, Disney is an absolute, or was an absolute genius. I mean, how many logos uh, do you know that has been consistently popular for 90 years? By the way, the Mickey Mouse logo is apparently the third most famous logo in the world. First is the Christian Cross. Secondly, it's a specific cold drink company. I think we all know what we're talking about and who we're talking about. And thirdly is the Mickey Mouse logo. These characters are happy, they cheerful, they hopeful, and they innocent, and yet at the same time, they reflect our basic human emotions. So to me, I mean, how can you get up in the morning and be grumpy <laughs> if you wear slippers like this? Absolutely. It's art, because you know the Disney company 
asked at that stage the 100 most famous visual artists in the world to interpret Mickey Mouse. Now, one would think because it's such a specific logo, there's very little that you can do with it. But look at this. Look at how different artists interpreted Mickey Mouse. Keith Ehring is a very famous artist. And poor old <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh um, got, at least got a Mickey Mouse here. So I am sure with chalk or paint, and their artistry, the artistry of Mickey Mouse, and your artistry, we are going to create the most incredible creative kitchen. I can't wait for this journey to start with you. Yes, I'm so excited. We must decide when this yes, journey is Yes, when going would to you start. like to do this? So I heard earlier that you are on your way um, to Cape Town. Yes, I have to go and do some functions there. Um, so I'll be away for about 10 days. Um, so do you want me here when you're doing it? You're going think, to surprise me. I think this oh, is going wonderful. to be a surprise. And I think we're going to do it in the time when you're not here. Fantastic. So that we can enter your kitchen and make sure everything is perfect. Are you going to send me clues though? Please. Well, my dogs, even a uh, little yippie who's here now, and the ones outside, I'm sure will bark me some news. Let's see uh, if they <laughs> if they give the right info through. Bark or growl <laughs> some clues. I can't wait. Uh, I hope. I am so it's excited. Thank something you. Something amazing that that's going to happen in this space. Today we find ourselves at the house of Liz Mayring and we are busy revamping her kitchen. From top to toe, that kitchen will never look the same again. So today we are busy with the prep work, cleaning well with the lacquer thinners, we are filling the holes and we are going to start at the ceiling to the floor and just revamp that entire space. So a lot happening today, a lot of prep work and a lot of excitement. Paint Master is assisting to paint the ceiling in super matte, the perfect ceiling paint. I'm cleaning the fridges with lacquer thinners, so I make sure that my cloth is rather thick, that the thinners don't get to my skin and I wash it off. Um, I want to paint these fridges matte black with some Mickey inspiration stencil work on them. But first we need to make sure that it's proper, properly been cleaned and grease free, oil free. You won't recognize this fridge once we've painted. They've opened the hole so that they can properly reach inside and make sure that we get rid of that crap for life.
When you paint your kitchen cupboards, make sure to first clean it properly using lacquer thinners. Choco paint can be applied onto melamine surfaces and then seal it with your choco glaze. There's a lot happening in the kitchen, so we've cleaned all the surfaces well with lacquer thinners. The fridge is being painted in matte black. We're doing the top sections of the cupboards in divots, and we are moving fast. You can paint with choco paints onto wall tiles. First, clean properly using lacquer thinners, allow to dry for 40 minutes, paint, wait overnight and seal with your clear glaze. When you paint onto weaker surfaces, do what you normally would do. Clean with your lacquer thinners, allow for the thinners to dry, and then paint. As easy as that. So, I am applying our Mickey stencil to the fridge. Main tip. Use very little paint, evenly distributed in your foam roller and patience. I'm pressing very lightly, make sure no paint can leak underneath and I'm just having fun. I'm using an artist brush and everywhere where I see imperfections, I simply touch it up. And that's the love and beauty of paint. You can't make mistakes, you just fix whatever needs fixing. So I'm going to do some stenc more stenciling on this fridge. This time, the writing part I'll be doing with our Stencil of Paris paste. It's a paste that gives your stencil work some um, a raised effect and it's like an embossing paste so it will just have an extra excitement to the surface. I'm going to add some excitement to the drawer, so I'm, I've printed some pictures with Mickey Mouse images on it and also some of Liz's papers that she had in her collection I'm going to use. On these drawers I've mixed the glaze, three parts glaze, one part water already in here and I'm simply going to dip the images through the glaze and use the glaze as a glue to stick it onto my drawers. I 
I've taken a picture as I'm planning my entire collage. So I'm just referring back, use my picture as a refer um, reference so that I can plan and paste as I want, but this is also creativity. So nothing needs to be perfect. Um, yeah, gift paper works well, tissue paper, but due to the fact that tissue paper or even serviettes are thinner, you'll just work with more care than printed paper. Gently even all the air bubbles out. I'm using various sizes. You can also use gift paper if you have, or smaller pieces, depending on the surface you're working on. And just dip. You can also paint the glaze on the surface and then just afterwards paint a coat of glaze on again. You can also wear gloves when working with a glaze. I prefer not to, but you definitely can wear some gloves. So once the glaze dries completely, all these milky marks will disappear and it will just give a very beautiful, even finish. Okay, so I'm using a foam roller just to even out any imperfections and to make sure that the glaze is evenly spread everywhere and it works so beautifully. I'm going to allow the glaze to dry and then once it has dried completely I'll cut these sections loose where the drawers meet and then use a 100 grit piece of sandpaper and just smooth all the rough edges. Um, Liz's dogs can't wait to bring the news to her of what is happening in her kitchen. We are busy applying stencil work. Simon is busy with a zigzag pattern behind me. And when doing stencils, you can either use a foam roller or a stencil brush. Once the paint is dry, you can lightly sand to hide any imperfections or take an artist brush and just fill in the gaps. A lot happening in this space, a lot of excitement, patterns and it is all coming together. So once the glaze has dried, I'll, I've cut loose the drawers with a blade and now I'm using a 100 grit piece of sandpaper. You can also use a, ha a nail file and I'm simply going to sand the edges to create a very even look and to remove all the excess paper.
When painting onto plastic surfaces, like the dustbin, we recommend to first sand the plastic surface using 100 grit piece of sandpaper, then clean properly using lacquer thinners, and then paint. And then we applied our clear glaze coat just to make it more stain resistant. We are busy putting up the decals above the window. I'm touching up the dustbin where I did the decoupage. Stencil work is busy in progress. We're busy glazing to make sure that we apply a glaze coat on the kitchen cupboards. It's a clear glaze like I've used previously, mixed with the water, and we wipe it on the cupboards to pr protect it, make it UV stain resistant, water resistant. Yeah, so there's a lot happening um, in this kitchen. Next on our to-do list was the dishwasher. And yes, you did hear right. You can use choco paint even on a dishwasher. A lot has happened today. We are done painting the cupboards. We are almost done applying our glaze coat. And um, the stencil work is complete. Fridges are done, dishwasher done, dustbins done. Tomorrow we are going to add final touches. Just do all the touch-ups where touch-ups are needed and then start with the styling. Um, I'm sure we all are ready to have a break now. The floor was not working for me, so I asked the permission of Liz and she said, paint it. We do not recommend painting floors. So this is just a trial run. We are going to design our own choco and Mickey Mouse fabric with an old kitchen towel roll and a wine cork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some choco paint matte black with a foam roller on my roll. Press and then use my wine cork and design my own Mickey Mouse ears. And very soon, Liz will have Mickey Mouse fabric and a blind hanging in her kitchen. We painted the stove tiles in matte black and then realized it needed something more. That's when we've added the white stripes. This is exactly what creativity is all about. Adapting and recreating. We are in Liz's kitchen. Most of the work has been done. We are busy decorating her floor, painting it. This is a trial run. It's not something we've done before, but we are testing and seeing. Suzuki is busy with final touches. We need to style and then we are ready for the final reveal.
I have now waited long enough. I've dreamt, I've surmised how this Mickey and Minnie Mouse kitchen would look like. I've had enough. I am now ready to see it, to experience the reveal. And look, my reveal. Ta-da! I dressed for the occasion. If Nadine doesn't let me in there now, I'm barging through those doors. Ha ha! Nadine, I was born curious. So if you don't let me in now, I'm gonna come. Go let's come. This is your kitchen. What? What? <laughs> I'm not often at a loss for words, but this is truly, oh, this is unbelievable. Look at this floor with the Mickey mice on it. And the, oh my, oh, I almost swore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you like it. I'm gonna camp out in this kitchen. I think I'm moving my bed here forever. It is, I, I am completely, I'm overwhelmed. No, you've got to explain everything. Now, that door, <laughs> let's start there. Okay, so the door we painted with choco and we created a stencil design on it with one of the choco stencils. So that's a stencil that you, that you have, that you sell? Yeah. The chevron, it's absolutely. And then there's a house oh, for a look mouse. Look at that! A mouse's <laughs> house, a little hole. Oh, it is so exquisite. And then the same zigzag, Chevron is repeated there. Fridges. Why fridges, those tatty old fridges? I never want a new fridge again. That's Disney's quote, you know yeah. that? The famous, of course you know that. <laughs> but it looks as if it's slightly uh, in, in relief. What, yeah. so is that it's a special? A, it's a paste we manufacture that gives your stencil work a raised effect. It is unbelievable. Okay, now we move on to, oh, with some of my stuff on. <laughs> but look at this blind. Tell me about that. Okay, so the blind we had made and we used a toilet roll and a wine cork to what? stamp the Mickey Mouse face and ears onto that. With, yeah, with is choco paint. With choco? Yep. And fabric? Yep. Is it washable? You can wash it. And then the, all the cupboards, the tiles, the decor items in the kitchen, we've used choco and Paint Master sponsored the wall paint, the ceiling paint, and people to assist with the paint work. That's and the room. floors? We've chocolate them, Liz. It's not what? something that we recommend as a rule, but we're going to use your floor as a test. I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind. I'm too scared to touch anything. <laughs> Look at the decoupage there. And on the On, on your the dustbin, dustbin, you've got the most beautiful dustbin now, Liz. We've used the chocolate glaze on there. And on your drawers, we've painted your flower pots. The wicker, the, the wicker. Oh, look that embellishment on your. Are those room. laser cuts? Yeah, it's laser cut. And you, you made them? Yeah, we had it made. And then look at your stage lights, Liz. My old stage lights, <laughs> they call these ball cats. <laughs> we don't use them anymore <laughs> in theatre, but, and you know, Mickey and Minnie are superstars, so yeah. they have to have. But I can't take the credit for the stage lights, Neil. Oh, it's Neil, looked after my yeah, house. It's his hard know. work and Almi's husband, Jorge. Well, I, I don't know how to thank everybody. And the brushes that you use, brushes, sponges, rollers, what? So we used rollers, brushes, foam rollers, and those were sponsored by Hamilton. Oh my goodness, I, I have so many people to thank, but, but most of all you, Nadine, you are a true artist. This entire space is it's a work of art. This is living art. I think so much. 
doing something for someone else and to have so much appreciation just makes it so, so much more rewarding, Liz. It was an absolute privilege and a pleasure to you do this. You must have worked so hard <laughs> to change this no. dismal kitchen into a Disney kingdom. Dear Liz, may there in this space be a place where you could dream right and have wonderful social times without any end. May many ideas be born here. So much love, Nadine and the whole Chocolate Paints team. <laughs> there is no more wonderful wish that you could give me. I, I have never, ever in my life had such an amazing gift. Words fail me. I, I, I don't know, there are no synonyms for, for thank you. I, I, I really just know that from the bottom of my heart, I so appreciate everything that you did. You brought me the beauty of the world in a kitchen. No, oh, it's a huge pleasure. Enjoy your kitchen, Liz. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Genuinely, honestly, I and my dogs, as you can hear, are so excited and so thrilled with this incredible work of art. This is a work of art. Never in my life did I think that I could have a kitchen like this. Thank you, Chalk of Paints. Thank you, Paintmaster Hamilton's, the wonderful camera crew and the painting team. I am so truly thrilled and grateful thank you like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel and turn on your notifications mm -hmm.